so we're in the dining room. Oh yes, would anybody like to uh, <laughs> eat in our dining room? Let's go in here, on the scrap pile. That's and going a little wait bit wide. Wait until we clean those cobwebs. Yeah. Just hoping I can get this other piece in now. So, the furniture, Anna, what do you, what do you think? Um, do we go for dark furniture or do we go for a light oak? Hi, I'm Ed. And I'm Anna. We run a wedding business from Ed's family's 15th century chateau near Bordeaux. On this channel, you'll get to see what our life is like while discovering Bordeaux, surrounding area, and what the wine world has to offer. Morning guys, Anna's out in the car doing some um, emails so I'm just gonna deal with this on my own. It is a bit of a problem for Anna, basically it's been really hard doing all the editing, so she's got behind on email. So that's why a daily vlog is gonna be really hard for us, but we'll see where we're at in another couple of days. So yeah, what I've mixed is some uh, tile adhesive, and I'm just gonna put as much as I can down in that hole. I hope I've mixed enough. Okay. That's all I've got mixed and um, I'm nearly full, so that should be enough. I just need to get something to wipe this up. Ooh, what's this? Add a bit of uh, white paint with white spirit on there. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is literally get this jigsaw puzzle back together and then hopefully squish it down a bit and leave it if I can get the pieces back in. This is not easy. I'm going to try and use my finger from underneath to push the marble back up. I think that's as good as I'm going to get that one. I'm just hoping I can get this other piece in now. Um, I have to struggle at that a bit longer. Um, it's going to be boring to watch, so I'll struggle a bit longer and, and show you the result. I'm glad I didn't film all of that because it was a right palaver. Basically, in the end, I had to get the diamond disc cutter out and just take a little bit off this last piece. I couldn't get it in. Basically, they'd fallen down to come out, and so to get them back in, they needed to go in and up, which isn't possible when you've got the uh, tile adhesive there. So I got the first piece in, got it about level, and then the second piece I had to keep uh, taking bits off um, and in the end I've, uh, I've got it off, I've stuck that as best as I can and, uh, and now I'm just going to clean my hands up because I've got a right mess and uh, give it a quick clean and it's done. So here's a close up, you can see it's slightly off but you know what, I think that's quite good considering the rest has all got little indentations too. It just looks like it's the broken piece and nothing's happened. So I'm quite happy with that. On to the next task. Next task, get rid of this piece of rubbish. Just have a quick look at it, see how it comes off. It's all pretty easy. So I'm gonna go and uh, turn the electricity off and get a beautiful chandelier up in here, fit for a dining room. I tell you what, this is one I've been really looking forward to. I almost got this down and then I realised this was the chandelier of two different on off switches so I need to check which one of these wires I'm not actually using and then I can go ahead. Oh, so the middle one's the one I'm using, the one with all the paint on is the one that I'll be just turning around and leaving or even snipping off, I'll see. And then I'm ready to go for the new chandelier. There really is only one place I can think to put this light fitting that's come out the dining room. No, we're not going to hang it in the tree for a garden party. It's 
go in here on the scrap pile. I like what somebody's done here. They made themselves an earth and a hook at the same time out of a kind of rigid piece of twisted wire. Hmm, how am I going to do this? I don't know whether my earth cable fit through there. Oh, it does. <sighs> so that I better now bend round and that supports it. So that's not as it can be, as pretty as it can be, but I'm going to come down, I'm going to get it all sorted, get some bulbs in, and it will be beautiful next time you see it. So I've now got the chandelier up. It's looking great. It's not too much. It's, you know, not over fussy. It's perfect for a dining room. We bought it for this, with this room in mind um, because it has uh, apples, pears, um, little raspberries, all different types of uh, fruit on it, grapes. Um, so, so yeah, it's looking great, but now's the moment of truth. I'm getting good at this clicky thumb thing. So I know it's been a bit bitty today on the blog, but um, that's for a reason. I don't want to show you everything until we dress the room. So we're going to go in now with Anna and dress the room uh, with the furniture that we've got. We've not got everything, but with the furniture we've got, we're going to put the furniture in and then we're going to show you the room. So yeah, it's a great time. Anna. Yes, Ed. I know you've been working hard on the vlog, but I needed to come help me uh, arrange everything in the room, get it all laid out. Okay, I'm on my way. Let's go. We're almost there. We're talking about where the furniture goes um, before we bring it in, obviously, because we don't want to make a mess on the floor. I've already bought these chairs in that Anna absolutely loved. Uh, how long ago? 18 months, two years ago you bought them? Two, two years ago, yeah. Two years ago. So um, we kept them. They were going to be for the main bedroom, but with my little surprise of paint paintwork, um, they go really well with this room. So we're going to put them in this room. Um, we've had a bit of negative comments about the mirror, but I think now the mirror looks pretty darn good. Um, it goes quite well with the, uh, with the walls. And the fact that it's got this problem here and here just makes it perfect, authentic. Um, so let's get on with the furniture. So the furniture, Anna, what do you, what do you think? Um, do we go for dark furniture or do we go for a light oak? We'll go for the light Well, you know that armoire that was in here that we dragged out on the uh, cover? Yes. <clears throat> Thankfully, we've got Eric and uh, Cyril coming to help us in a minute. So we'll get, me, me and those guys will get that in here. But I think it needs to go back where it was. Yes, because it was just on this wall here. Yeah. And I think I like it there because it doesn't... I, I put it there for a reason. Did you? Yeah. And then at this wall here, we can put that... What do you think, that marble, that big marble top thing uh, with the glass? Yes, because I wanted the mirror here, so that's my second mirror. And what about that, that really ornate piece um, with the marble top? You were a bit worried about that, weren't you? Yes, I'm just thinking where. Think, how about here? 
Well, yeah, and you know how you were worried about the marble being a bit light? Well, look, this has some similar tones of marble in it, so I think it will go. Yeah, that, that, it will look really nice there. Otherwise, worst case, hmm. if it doesn't look good, we just pop it here. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, we have to think, I think there would be good. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's going to look really nice. Actually. Yeah, so we're going to prepare all the furniture, get it all cleaned, and get it right outside the room. And then the bits that um, it's not just me and you, we, we'll, uh, we'll get in the room. And then the bits when it's just me and you, we'll bring them in. And yeah. uh, that'll, that'll be the end to our weekly vlog, won't it? Yeah, good setup. Yeah. I am still in love with this chandelier. It's really nice, with the grapes at the top. I've just put a new light in the middle because it was too white. That's and going a little bit white. And you to clean those cobwebs. Yeah. You know what, sometimes those ones with lots of drops, I mean we've got some, we're going to put some in, sometimes they look great, but... Now the question is, are we keeping that snail or did you... Oh, has poor Sid the snail. I, I saw some French guy walking past and he had his eye on him. <laughs> Ed? Yeah, I'm in here. So we're in the dining room? Oh yes, would anybody like to uh, eat in our dining room? <laughs>
بوده کرده I'm not gonna lie to it. I am pulling with all my weight. So that's it. We did it. Seven days. High five. Thank God Cyril and Eric came to help us. It's the yeah. weekend, so we managed to get Cyril and Eric to come in and uh, give us a hand. J just moving those big pieces of uh, furniture. There was no way you'd have been no, able to do no, that. No, no. We tried, and then we was like, no, we can't do it. And even those cast iron radiators. Oh my God, how heavy were they? Mm -hmm. And we, well, we scratched a bit the floor. Yeah, but I repaired it, didn't you I? You so. repaired it also. It's all good now. Done. It's been a hard seven days, though. And we've done a few late nights, haven't we? Well, I have done a few late you nights. You have. And I've been with the kids. And then after you've, you've helped yeah. and it yeah. hasn't stopped. I know. So um, thinking about it, I don't think we're going to carry on with the daily vlogs, are we? We, unless we will, tr maybe we'll try again in a bit. But I think for the yeah. time being, we'll... We're going to go back to 9.45 Tuesday and Friday, so 9.45 French time, so our usual slot that we've been doing these daily vlogs, um, and like I say, Tuesday and a Friday. Yeah. I think next on the agenda, we've got a few little jobs to do at the Chateau, don't know whether we're going to mix them in to start with or afterwards, um, but first, I think first job here I want to get onto is preparing the pool area, digging the hole for the pool and getting the concrete poured for the pool. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's bad weather, we'll go back inside and, and maybe finish the dining room. I'd like to get that finished before your birthday, though, which is in a couple of weeks' time, isn't it? The main bedroom? Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that. I would like the main bedroom. The dining room, we've just done. You did it. Oh, sorry, not the dining room. The, um... <laughs> not the dining room, sorry. The, um... The salon. Oh, the salon you want to do next. Could yeah. that be another seven day challenge or are we going to take it easy? Maybe a know. 10 day? I don't know. Maybe we could do a seven day challenge. Let's, let's try and concentrate on getting on here and getting the bedroom done because every day it's sunny now. I have to come out here and get going on this. Got some interesting stuff going on, uh, not just pouring concrete. We've got to get the layout right, haven't we? Yes, we do. Then we've got the electrics to do like we talked about. Uh, we've got all the cables to put in. Mm -hmm. 
Got the pool uh, uh, kind of uh, tubes to get in as well. So lots of interesting stuff going on. Uh, thanks for watching us on the seven day Thank challenge. You guys. Uh, but yeah, we just need a little bit of uh, downtime. So we'll go back to only two vlogs a week and we'll, uh, and we'll, we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.